Hello everyone, greetings from Lagos State, Nigeria. That's where we have the great Lagos State University. And that's where I work. Our Vice Chancellor, Professor Larry Waju Fabo, a highly distinguished world class professor, has asked that all professors in the university, about 128 in total, to strive to be world class. So, what does it mean to be world class? Is it like looking like this and donning? This? Oh, you get to find out in a minute. The goal of this episode is to give you a report of uh, a survey of professors in Lagos State University regarding attributes of world class professors. Who are those professors? Including themselves, including myself, that they regard as world class. So if they are world class, what are those attributes that they think they are exhibiting? And who are those professors that taught them or that supervise their work or they are working with as partners in research that they regard as world class? So the idea is for us to do a gap analysis where the world class professors are and where we, in last week, including myself, are. And they will do a gap between where we are and where world-class professors are. So that we can do, we can bridge the gap between where we are and where the world-class professors are. So that at the end of the day, all professors in Lasso who wish to be world-class will attain that status. This episode is also for professors outside the Lagos State University community. Anywhere you are in the world, Ghana, elsewhere in Africa, Europe, North America, Asia, who will want to be world class? This episode is for you, so that you get to know what the attributes of the world class professors are and strive to be there. So, enjoy. Again, welcome, welcome, people. Before we take on the findings of this survey of attributes of world class professors, let me make some few preliminary remarks. Did you know that we have several categories of professors? I'm going to pick out three. And I will put the three within the normal curve. The normal curve is a curve which shows, in this case, the distribution of human attributes. So you have 2.15% of the attributes on the right side of the curve, or the right tail, and 2.15% on the left tail. And you have 68.2% about the middle. So that leads me to the three categories. Now we have what you can call the A-grade professors. These are the world-class people. And then in the middle, you have the B-grade professors. These are the run-of-the-mill professors. And on the left tail, tail, tail side, you have professors who are just there, just uh, to earn their money and just cruise along. We have a label in Nigeria called Swegbe. Swegbe is the just ordinary person, ordinary. You know, so we have Swegbe professors. As a C category, that the choice of professor that you want to be is yes, you can decide to be A grade, B grade, C grade, and uh, that. But we want you to be A grade. So who is a world class professor in the A grade? Now, I have operationally defined, this definition may not go with others, but I have operationally defined the world-class professor as a professor who has made globally acknowledged contribution to scholarship and whose name is known and cited within at least 30% of the global, not necessarily national, community of scholars in his or field and whose teaching community service and personality are clearly outstanding. Now, there are four elements in this definition. One is that it should be globally acknowledged in the area of research in a way that about 30% minimum of the community of scholars, international, global, will say, when they see the name, Professor A, oh yes, we have cited this person in literature. Or they meet with him or her in an international conference in Venezuela, in Acapulco, in Nigeria, anywhere. And it's, 
Oh, see the name label. Oh, yeah, you are the person I've been citing. And the world class professor should be exemplary in teaching, in community service, and the personality should be clearly outstanding. So, who does this car fit within my uh, area of uh, operation? Those that I've interacted with, or my teacher, or my research partners, and all. Now, I have some of them here, just some. Arranged alphabetical, you have Professor Jadisola Akonde, renowned uh, lawyer. Professor O. Akinkube, one of the giants in medicine in Africa and the world in hypertension. He will be speaking with us in a moment. Professor Nitton Baba Bumi, a world renowned biochemist. Professor Sam Tunde Baja, who was my teacher in the University of Bali in the late 1960s, uh, a professor of science education. Professor Barry Fraser, my research partner, he is uh, one known, he has o o over 200, maybe 300 published works in international journals, outstanding. Professor Pio Banya, who uh, is the foundation dean of the Faculty of Education of uh, Lagos State University, a assistant director general, former assistant director general of UNESCO, renowned, renowned all the way. Professor Ulumide, first vice chancellor of Lagos State University, a renowned soldier. Professor Atunde Yoloye, Yoloye, uh, quite clearly outstanding in the measurement, educational measurement. Of course, you have Nimi Briggs, obstetrics and gynecologist, Uyipita Bobe, an engineer, Isaac Oluyede, Olujegede, Osinwana, Umaru Sheu, and many others. These people fit into my mold of work, work class scholars. So what are the attributes? I talked about fitting into my mold, fitting into that definition. I have identified three, excuse me, four areas. Research, are five elements there. Teaching, six elements there. Community service, three elements there. Personality, eight elements. So what about research? What are the attributes of the world-class scholar? Now, if you did a Google Scholar search of the uh, or get the indices or metrics matrices of the res, uh, respect uh, of the uh, work class professor you will find that the citations are put this as the minima the minimum for citations 2000 in other words at least the professor should have been cited 2000 times uh, uh, since he started publishing and the last five years should have been cited several times for me, I'm quite. Ex uh, I'm. I'm going to place some focus on the H index and the I10 index. For the H index, it has to be minimum of ten to qualify for entry into my own kingdom of world class professor, and I10 index of twenty. So, what do this mean? I said minimum I10 index in the last five years should be tw twenty. The I10 index is the number of publications that have received at least 10 new citations in the last five years. And I've said that the minimum H index should, in the last five years should be 10. Now a scholar with an index of H, that's the definition, has published H papers each, of which has been cited in other papers at least H times. Thus, the H index reflects both the number of publications and the number of citations per publication. Recall that professor it has to do with scholarship. That's why a lot of emphasis uh, is being placed on this research indices. It should have won sizable research grants and should have been a leader or member of at least one international research team. Number four, should have received academic awards and has offered leadership roles in national, maybe as president, international organizations related in, a, in his or her area of expertise, and should be academically honest. What about teaching attributes? Now, I have six elements here. The world-class professor should be an inspiring teacher and should teach difficult concepts in an understandable and easy manner, like hot knife through butter. So students will rush, they won't want to miss the lesson of this professor. The world-class professor should have his or her lesson sprinkled with findings of her research. And the contents of the lesson should be la laden with 
new, the latest information and not with outdated ideas and references. I should be able to use uh, some new technologies to deliver his or lesson and should give quick feedback on assignments. And when exams are over and the Senate Academic Board of the Institution says, oh, returning your scores in two weeks, the world-class professor should be able to do that. What about community service? The world-class professor, in my view, should be able to apply the findings of his or her research to solve local problems, national problems, global problems. There's no point in your doing your research and it's just theoretical. It's not apply. Uh, you are not able to apply it to solve problems in your university, in your city, in your nation, and everywhere else. And should be able to present lectures that can convey his or her of research in the most understandable manner. And when he's invited or she's invited to give public lectures, the lecture should be inspiring, should be objective, should be non-partisan, so that people will remember him or her forever. What about the personality attributes of the professor? For me, there are a number of attributes that I want to share. You may agree with this or maybe not agree with them or it doesn't really matter, but these are my attributes that I've listed. You will see as the survey progresses, from the other professors, what they are saying, maybe we have some convergence in these areas. One is that the, not in any other, by the way, the professor, work class professor, should be intellectually humble. You are going to hear a short clip from Professor Akinkubwe, Emeritus Professor Akinkubwe, on this. Now, the professor, work class professor, should present a distinctly professorial mien and posture. Not dressed like a tart or but a boy, should no foul breath, our fingernails well cut, and when he or she is making public presentation, it should be smooth, not jerky, and avoid mannerisms such as you know, you know, um, um, and also to avoid dry and dirty jokes. And the world class professor, I know him or her. When I send a mail, an email, or I send a text message. And within an hour, I receive a feedback for a, a, a reply saying a full reply, or if he or she is busy, like most professors are busy, just a short message. Thanks for your email or test message. I will respond later. That's courtesy. So the full, I mean, the, the world class professor should have that courtesy of uh, responding to mails and test messages. Number six. Now I know a Bush professor is a good professor when I see one. In the public, you are holding your phone, it's ringing, I mean, not, not necessarily in the public, in, in an event, you know, so let me very public lecture or whatever, and you, the, your phone is ringing, and you are making calls, hey, excuse me, I'm in a meeting. You should switch off your phone or put it in silent mode. You are going, having lectures, and you see some prof, some people, some swagway professors, carrying their phones and, uh, and answering it. That is clearly unacceptable. It doesn't fit into the mold of the work life professor, in my view. Number seven, the world class professor should avoid chewing gum in the public or use of profane words and language. Last but not the least, the world class professor is sending out a text message or an email. He or she should read over. Now, I've fallen into this trap occasionally when I don't read over. And I, when I look at the, the, the message, my, my sent box, I, oh my goodness. So I spell this thing so wrongly, so you should try to avoid embarrassing errors by reading a text message and uh, emails before we send. Of course, uh, we have a lot more, but now let's go on to the survey. So who are the professors in our sample? 47 of them in total, but at the end of the survey, only 21 participated. The others on account of some logistical reasons or the other, uh, they couldn't. Those that participated, we have highlighted in red. As you can see, Professor Yemi Ambrose Akinko II, Educational Foundations, Professor Olabisi Obadofin, Educational Foundations and Counseling Psychology, Professor Luronti Ogumbi, Language, Arts, and Social Science Education. So we go all the way down, you can see the names on account of time, uh, one will not be able to read them out all, uh, all, all together. But those that are in black are those that couldn't uh, participate in the online uh, survey. 
the yeah, these are some others. Uh, Professor Bangwo of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Uh, you can see some others. Oh, there's a striking name here. Professor Fulusha Oluto Yukebukola, Language Arts and Social Science Education. Now, why did I come to this one? Uh, on the side, uh, that's my wife. And then you have uh, the associate professors, you know, were quite forthcoming in this survey. You can see many more of them participated than the, uh, than the, than the, than the professors. So you have uh, Dr. Bilikis Idowu, Physical and Health Education, and uh, you can see the others. You see the others. Those participated are uh, in red. Thank you, one and all. So, as I said, in total, we had 21 of them, and uh, uh, I conclude with last three here, not in any rank ordering. Dr. Tinoke Fakbounda, Industrial Relations and Personal Management. Dr. Fatile, Public Administration. And my friend and brother, Dr. Egbomo Silas Eniola, a great educational technologist in science and tech education. So that, that, that's, the, that's the group. You're going to find out in a little while uh, the attributes of world-class professors that they identified. Now, how did we collect data? It was a simple online survey, uh, attributes of world-class professors. And uh, we said, over the years, you must have interacted with an outstanding university professor within or outside Nigeria that you can label world-class. Please list any top two attributes of the world-class professor in the areas of teaching, of research, community service, and personality. So we have this. It takes about uh, five minutes or, or, or less to complete this. Two attributes. Okay, let's look at it. Name, uh, name of selected world-class professor, university where she is based two attributes in teaching, two attributes in research, two attributes in community service, two personality attributes. You know, it's as simple, simple as that. So what are the findings of the survey? We begin with Asui Professor Bachira Tulushola Oladi Pupo Kore, who said that a world-class professor has good personality, teaches well, quality teaching, is a prolific writer, a good collaborator, readily available for teamwork, is eloquent, and he is clear. What about Professor Uluwale Ayodeji Akiridolu? He says that, that his world-class professor has a knowledge of the content of the area of teaching. He teaches in simple terms that attracts the attention of the students. His writing has become, writing has become his passion. He's focused on research. He has served in various capacities. He's uh, gentle and easygoing. We go on to Professor Felicia Okebukola, who uh, reported that her work class professor is thorough, thoroughness. He encourages personal development and hard work. He provides leadership in research. He exhibits adequate knowledge. He's always willing to share knowledge. It's accessible. He does not compromise on quality and is punctual at meetings. Now, as a professor, Moses Akombi, one of our rising stars, great scholar in Lasso, uh, and of course global, he reported that the, his world class professor uh, demonstrates state of the art teaching aids or uses state of the art teaching aids and is very skilled. Simplified teaching methodology, that's the most voluminous. He most voluminous publisher in Lasso Google Scholar rating. He has published in world class journals, Herald of Quality Assurance and Control in Lasso and beyond. Pioneering of highly motivating initiatives that will enhance development, especially in research. It's good in time management, quality and factual appraisal and appreciation of other colleagues. These are the attributes rendered by Asu Professor Moses Akombi. Now, uh, Asu Professor Shola Fosudo, impactful, unconventional, erudite, productive, selfless, detribalized, charismatic, and enigmatic. Professor Yemi Ambrose Akikwotu believes that his uh, world class professor has mastery of the subject matter. 
It uses learner-centered method. Research that has African coloration, African indigenous knowledge, considered useful to the development of all. Easy to understand, humility, and integrity. As a professor, Agnes Adebukola Atolagbe, excellent teacher, according to those he taught, in-depth and relevant research to Africa in particular, consistency of research is diligent. As to administrator and former VC, helpful to the local and international community, formal stroke official, yet friendly and warm to people, neat and appropriately dressed, always. If you notice that I've omitted who the world-class professors that this poor have named, it doesn't really matter. We are now looking for the attributes which will be common across the board. As a professor, Sunday Alawode, resourcefulness and leadership, diligence and punctuality, forthright and committed, versatility, commit, committed to full gospel businessmen, that's special to that person, relevant in hometown affairs, perseverance, committed to mentoring. As with Professor Jacob Ulufemi Fatile, patience in communicating abstract topics with students and colleagues, attentive to the needs of the students, clear, entertaining, and give lectures that have narrative, passion, persistence, and creativity in research, adopting practical approach to research using global best practices, mentoring, support for graduate students, empathy and humility, intelligence, and dynam dynamism of thought. Professor Latif Mobolaji Adetono says that his uh, world class professor, that his teaching is always participatory, always patient, to allow students ventilate their opinion without interruption, even when not right before presenting the correct opinion. That's a good one. Very deep in assessing existing literature on the subject matter, has a unique style of presenting his findings in a very appealing manner, provides leadership to junior colleagues. He still finds time to serve as the head of, well, that's personal too. Humility, very humble. Unless one is told, you may not easily identify him among others in his environment. Accessible. His doors are usually open to others. As a professor, Tinuke Moradike Fakbonda, her world-class professor, prof, uh, world professor, passion for the, for the subject, excellent communication skills, Honesty and commitment, analytical mind, accountability, integrity, fairness, and openness. What about Professor Ulutimi Iriti Akinola? She says that a world class professor is lucid, patient, NIH grant winning and grant winning person, task shifting, international medical outreaches, mentoring minority kids, is focused and is humble. As a professor, Silas Egbomo, the world class professor that he has named, is abreast with current developments in his field, proponent of training the trainers, originality, teamwork, and some of the other attributes, readiness to contribute, his quota, mentoring, and he is an innovator. As a professor, Bidemi Bilkisi Dowu, former dean of students, uh, she says that her world class professor is competent, punctual. Well referenced, thorough, team player, dogged, and resilient. We're almost there. As a professor, Olabisi Obadofu, one of our leading professors in Lagos State University, says that her world class professor has the ability to create a welcoming learning environment. It's warm, accessible, enthusiastic, and caring. Consideration for other people's values. He has the capacity to inspire his students with his passion for education. Possession of high intellectual capacity to express thoughts and ideas. He has the ability to show support for community projects. He has a zeal for maintaining professionalism in all areas. He is totally dedicated to his profession with an unwavering commitment. He is very disciplined and he wants others to, to do likewise. But he carefully chooses the ways he enforces rules without being too strict. As a professor, Dauphin Digitogi Moro, uh, she reported that her world-class professor simplifies all topics, 
that are often difficult for his other contemporaries. He has a magic wand to identify exceptionally brilliant students. He has special flair and affection for brilliance, very reliable and honest, a designer of cutting edge research. He commits all that he has to research. He brought several equipment, he bought several equipment, reagents, and media for his department. He encourages and ensures that younger colleagues are promoted, thus enhanced productivity. He puts God first. That's important. And he's always a bridge builder who discovered me, that's her, as an undergraduate, and built her from a nobody to a professor. You're going to be a professor very soon, uh, as a professor tomorrow. Now to Professor Adetu Kumbo Lushe Gunfabangwo, one of our leading ONG experts. He identified his uh, work class professor and says that the attributes are as follows. His students attest to the qualitative and evidence-based nature of his teaching. He's also acclaimed to teach obstetrics and gynecology in an excellently understandable manner, such that, such that even a dummy understands. He identified his area of focus fairly early in his career and went on to develop it. He developed a capacity for collaborative research. He set, so he, he set up a collaborative research network cutting across the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria. Professor Fabanwo is uh, a member of that network and they have carried out quite a number of research which have been published in international peer review journals. He's a team player. He has a very inquisitive mind. Inquisitive mind. So that is the uh, what we got for our studies from the survey. Decided to work on this. I was fortunate in being given the Commonwealth Scholarship for postgraduate work. And I stayed with him for just about two years, and he was like a father to me. And one thing I picked up with him is intellectual humility. Intellectual humility. Good attribute. Because he was the be all and end all in hypertension. But to talk to him, and if he asked him a question he did not, he would say, Sorry, Akin. Pickering does not know the answer. <laughs> you see, so, but we had regular sessions within the various uh, research fellows from New Zealand, from Canada, from India, and everyone profited. So by the time I got my professorship in Ipan, he wrote to me and said, I can you are about the 34th, 35th professor of medicine that have gone through this department. And he was a big source of inspiration. Now, using that word because you've asked me about what things motivated us, but it's that love of research, research, and also the love of working in my own country for my own people. Okay, so let us summarize. We now have uh, what I can call a checklist of attributes of world-class professors. What have I done? I've harvested all the suggestions of the professors we surveyed and have merged them, my these with mine. And what we have is a 40-item checklist, 40-item checklist, which uh, you find begins with research attributes, teaching attributes, community service attributes, and general or personality attributes. So where do we go from here? What I think we need to do, or you need to do, and I need to do, is to use this as a checklist to find out where I stand. Recall that at the beginning, we said we want to have to a gap analysis, where we should be. This is where we should be. So where am I? So we then walk towards bridging the gap between where we are and where we should be. So thanks for being part of this uh, episode. Until next uh, episode, it is bye from Peter Okebukola. Okay,